Hello, this is Mark with Bailey Software. This tutorial will go over the client statement service available in the advisor version of Fund Manager. The client statement service is a subscription-based service that enables easy and secure sharing of statements with your clients. The service is an extension to the mobile slash web access feature. The first step in using the client statement service is to set up usernames for each of your clients. You do this in the client list. Here's our list of clients and if you edit one you can define their mobile web access uh, username and password here. Just set up a username and password for each client and repeat that for all your clients that you want <clears throat> to share statements for. For example we could say Brett Connolly, assign a password, and say OK, and the account is created. If you want to share these details with your uh, customers, you can use this copy details to clipboard shortcut to help share that information. Once all your uh, clients have a username created, you can go ahead and create the statements. One way to do that is with the batch printing command. So we've uh, set up a report and graph that we want to include in our uh, quarterly statements. Here's just an example executive summary report and a portfolio investment overlay graph that we're going to include. So to go ahead and print those for each of our clients, you go to the batch print email command under the file menu. In this command uh, you can customize what you print and how it's printed. Uh, for example you can choose to include a cover letter and set various options in your cover letter. Um, you can order all the graphs and reports that you want to print and then choose which clients you want to print for. In this example we'll just do two to keep it simple. We'll do Lucy Ayers and Fred Barnes. We're going to go to the options button and choose how to print. So we're going to output to the printer and we want to output to a PDF file. So we're going to go to a printer options and under either of the printer buttons we're going to select make sure that we have Primo PDF selected or any PDF driver that you want and we'll say OK and OK. We're only going to output to the printer. You can choose which folder you're going to save your output PDF files to and then choose a file name format. When you're using the client statement service you want to use this selection where the file names are saved in a format of username, comma, group, comma, statement. When you're using the client statement service you can organize your statements into groups. Uh, typically you'd use a group for each quarter or reporting period. In this case we're going to output a group called Q1 2017. So once you've selected all these options just press OK and go ahead and press print slash email to actually do the printing. The Primo PDF software comes up and gives us the opportunity to save our PDF file and you'll notice the output is saved as username, comma, group, comma, statement name. So we're just going to go ahead and say save. We're going to save that into our batch printing folder. And then you have to repeat that for each client. Just go ahead and say create and accept the default file name. And This one is for Fred. So if we went and looked in our on our hard drive at that batch print folder, you'll see we have one PDF file for each client. We have one for Lucy and one for Fred. So once you print your PDF files, uh, the Upload Client Statements dialog box will come up. And you can choose to either upload a particular file or all the files in a folder. Typically you probably want to just upload all the files in a folder so you select the uh, batch print folder that we just printed to. 
And then you can choose to either upload based on the file name or you can actually override that and specify a particular username and group. But when we batch printed, we batch printed using this file name syntax that makes it easier. Um, you can press this preview upload button to preview what you're going to upload. We have two statements uh, for two users uh, that we're going to upload. One for Fred, one for Lucy. They're both going into the group named Q1 2017 and then these are their statement names. Just press done to that and to actually upload just press the upload button. And both of our statements have been uploaded. The commands related to the mobile web access feature are available under the options menu at mobile slash web access. Um, here you can upload holdings data for all your clients. You can actually go back to the upload statements command if you wanted to upload more statements. And you can also, there are shortcuts to go to either the client or the advisor portal. These are through the web, web browser. Um, you can manage all your clients' statements. Um, you can log into the client portal as a client to see what they will see. Uh, so we'll start off by going to the advisor portal. In the advisor portal, you'll uh, just log in with your advisor license name. and your serial number and once you press advisor login uh, you'll be logged into the portal once you're logged into the advisor portal um, you can either see all the statements that are available to your clients you can upload new statements or you can delete existing uploaded statements so for example if you want to see all the statements that you have available now just press list statements you can press it for a particular user uh, like if you only want to see Lucy's statements you can see that she has one statement in one group and um, Fred has one statement in one group and Lucy has one statement you can delete these if you want um, you can go upload more uh, statements. You don't have to only upload statements from within Fund Manager. You can upload any other files that you want to share with your clients. It's all uh, encrypted and secure so that only your clients can view the data. Um, you can also use this delete statements uh, page to either erase a bunch of statements or only a particular statement file. In addition to the advisor portal, um, there is the client portal. The client portal is how each of your clients would log in. You would provide them the username and password that you created in the client list, and then they can come and log in. And once they log in, they can either see their holdings um, or they can see a list of statements. And here there's one quarter's worth of statements, and there's Lucy's statement that we just uploaded and she can either download that or view it online and here's her statement that we batch printed for her okay uh, this completes the tutorial on the client statement service thanks for watching